In some very tragic news, they're coming in from down south. An elderly couple committed suicide in their home in Porur in Tamil Nadu. Manoharan's body was found completely burnt on the bed and his wife Jeeva's body was discovered in the living room. Initial investigations revealed that the couple was depressed because of their children. They had abandoned them. Now, Manoharan allegedly gave poison to his wife and then set himself ablaze after pouring kerosene on himself. A suicide note has also been recovered along with two checks of two lakh rupee each for their son to conduct the final rites. Pramod now joins me live with more updates on this. Pramod, it is extremely tragic, the kind of developments that are taking place. Uh, but take us through what were the contents of the suicide note. Does it in any way indicate that they were extremely depressed and did the children really abandon them and that led them or that drove them to take such an extreme step? Well, definitely. This tragic incident occurred uh, just a day after New Year, that is on 2nd of uh, 2018, January. And uh, the very unfortunate thing is that the couple was uh, Manoharan, a 62-year-old person, and uh, Jiva, his wife, a 56-year-old. Both were senior citizens and both were uh, like uh, government employees who took VRS. They had a son and a daughter, and like initial investigations claim that on sun uh, second uh, night, uh, there was like uh, a smoke that was emanating from their house, and neighbors got a shock, and they called up the fire service. The, when the fire service reached the spot, they saw that the door was locked from the inside and they had to break it open. When they broke it open, they could see that Jiva was lying on the uh, living room and uh, uh, unconscious. And when they went to the uh, bedroom where the smoke was coming out from, they could see that there was a charred body over there who okay. was later identified to be as Manoharan. And there is when uh, they found these uh, uh, letters and uh, certain uh, two checks as well. This is the tragic part. Manoharan has written to his son claiming that uh, their body should not be uh, buried but it should be burnt. He has given the list of 10 people, their relatives claiming like these are the people who should be called for their funeral with their contact numbers and there were two checks, each two lakh rupees, both signed to their son claiming that please use these two checks for their last rites. Now it, uh, also we got information from the cops claiming that the couple were extremely distressed that their children were not able to take care of them as the way the couple wanted to and that is why they took this uh, uh, grave decision. Also promote the, any word they're coming in from the neighbors, their relatives on what the kind of relationship uh, the parents really shared with uh, their children. Anything that the neighbors uh, could give more insight on uh, how troubled uh, was this family at that point. Well, the thing is that like in the entire city of Chennai right now, the, the, the culture is completely changing, like not, not like in 2000 or something where you used to have a kind of like a joint family. It is becoming more of a nuclear family and that is causing a lot of uh, differentiation with the way people are being treated, especially the senior citizens. And that is why like when we spoke to certain experts and psychologists, we have come to know that like that is why that uh, there is a kind of like an entire shift as to how people see like uh, general couples see the senior citizens in a society. And that's the reason it was also explained that like uh, there is a huge huge growth of uh, senior citizen homes in Chennai as well and there it seems to be like the earlier generation that is like uh, in the uh, 70s 80s and around now in 2000 what happens is that they expect them to be treated the way the father they treated their parents but they don't get the same kind of treatment from the children and unfortunately they end up in senior citizen homes but certain people who have uh, like uh, who are completely distressed over it not knowing how to deal with such situations take such kind of actions then they claim like this uh, this should be immediately people should be sensitized and that is the only way that this could be reduced.